Hello everyone. If you're thinking about getting a Glock, don't think, just get it. If you are new to guns and shooting sports and thought about getting a Glock, you might as well just get the Glock. It's basically the proven choice for many law enforcement, military, and a lot of gun owners, basically the number one choice is the Glock. It may not be the best ergonomics, the most accurate, or the nicest looking, but it's basically the best options if you have to have just one gun. I guess the biggest benefit of the Glock is their reputation in terms of reliability and dependability. Um, a lot of people say basically a Glock is the most reliable gun in the world, but it's debatable, obviously. But it really says something when a lot of law enforcement around the world actually uses Glock as their primary um, sidearms for the police and um, uh, and also in the militaries. Basically, right now, a lot of new adoptions by, um, by elite forces like the U.S. Navy SEAL. So it's really not going to be a wrong choice if you buy a Glock. The ergonomics of a Glock is really shit. Um, to be honest, I think uh, it's manageable. I mean, to be honest, any handgun is not meant for you to be like very comfortable in terms of like just holding on to it for a long period of time. I mean, just the natural act of shooting. Basically, you're creating a small explosion within a small device and holding on to it creates that shock and that loud bang and that vibration is never natural to anyone. You basically train yourself to detune and desensitize to manage that uh, control explosion in terms of shooting a gun. And basically that's how you train and to get better at shooting guns because the natural human reaction is to jerk the gun, uh, finch, uh, so, so yeah, in terms of people saying, oh, this gun has the best ergonomics, it's very comfortable and things like that. I mean, um, you have to use the mindset that you, uh, you can always adapt to the pistol. Uh, some guns, yes, it does feel a lot better in terms of holding onto it. Uh, for example, the VP9, I think is one of the best in terms of just grabbing on. Like, it fits me anyway, like for me, um. Uh, my hand size and, and whatnot. Um, I, I love the VP9. Um, or, or actually, up in Canada, we call it, we, our version is the SFP9, which is the same thing as the VP9. Or even the Smith & Wesson MMP9 uh, 2.0, it's really comfortable in my hands. But yeah, just getting back on topic of ergonomics. Yes, there are guns that are more comfortable, but uh, Personally, I think you need to look at more of an overall basis and not just the fact that it fits you well in terms of how you, I guess, um, grab or, or grab the gun. Some people actually, well, actually most people, I would say, consider, uh, I mean, evaluating their options, uh, their, their, their first handgun uh, purchase uh, with cost. And just to put in perspective, let's say a Glock in the US, I think the price is around like four, four fifty, or 500 bucks, something like that, around that range. So, so let's say about like $500 US for a Glock 17. 
and there might be a cheaper option for um, well actually the mmp is slightly more, uh, less i think and the vp9 is a little bit more or something like that but let's say if you are considering um price a as a factor in making your decision uh something like uh, mmp or p10 which is also great guns they're maybe around like 50 hundred dollars less in the u.s the actually a price difference in canada is actually a lot bigger i'm going to actually make a segment a video segment of that later on but anyway getting back to it let's say if there's another option like some other like really low price gun like um uh something that's like two three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars even if it's two hundred dollars uh i don't want to name names but obviously there are some out there which is like really low price polymer guns option so even if it's like a three hundred dollar price difference essentially let's say like a brick of nine millimeter ammo is like around 200 bucks anyway and better ammo is probably 300 so for about a thousand rounds that's the price difference of getting a basically the most dependable uh combat pistol a glock versus trying to save some money and get something that's like uh basically you probably spend that on ammo anyway Oh, you should be because if you're just buying a firearm, uh, even if you are buying it for self-defense, you're not using it for like sport shooting or whatnot, you should still at least put in like at least a thousand rounds just to be familiar with shooting, especially if you're just starting out and know nothing about it. You should go to a gun range and put in at least a thousand rounds to it. And for a Glock, it takes at least like that, if not more, to just break in the gun so let's say you shoot like two three thousand round with a glock like that's that's basically the price of a glock so um for me i don't understand why people are trying to save a little bit of money or well, not a little bit i mean it does it is like half the like some guns are half the price of glock but still um it's not like you're just buying it and that's it you do need ammo and training to make yourself proficient at it so uh i would say don't try to cheap out on your option not to say you have to get a glock i mean like you could like if at the end of the day you've done your research and whatnot you might have a friend that owns one and tried it out tried it a few times and still don't like it then yeah get something that uh fits you but um i would say like uh if you don't have that time to kind of really evaluate and then you just need to get something or you want to get something um uh, uh, that's dependable and reliable and and it's an accurate pistol uh the glock is the best choice as a first gun if you are considering or evaluating them uh, a glock as an option just get the glock just don't think about it just get it